Nature Rocking. And I'm Mike Strug, and you are looking at blue skies. For a little while, we thought this, uh, this parade might not happen at all. It's been delayed an hour, but that shouldn't interfere with anything. And it seems to be turning out to be just a lovely day. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. We uh, woke up this morning with a little bit of drizzle that certainly caused a bit of concern down in South Philadelphia when uh, all of the people who are involved with making these decisions were trying to figure out whether, in fact, this parade should actually go today on New Year's Day. Yeah, and what and happens, oh, I'm sorry, Pat, but what happens is there's a vote among the four divisions, and we'll tell you more about that later. We'll do an interview with some of the guys who are actually in on that vote, and they decided to take a chance that all the forecasts indicated that the, that the rain would be stopping. And we have the blue skies that are filtering through right now. Mike and I are in a very unusual spot to start this parade. We are right in the middle of Marcus Street, as you can see, and that is because today is a very significant day in the history of the parade, isn't it, Mike? Well, this is the first time uh, that the parade has moved east from the river along Market Street here to City Hall. Traditionally, this has been a parade that comes up Broad Street from South Philadelphia. It started out that way back in 1901 at the beginning of the 20th century, and that's, that's what this parade is about, or at least the way it started. It was a, a way to celebrate the beginning of the 20th century, and historically, it, ha it has always come up from South Philadelphia. There were a couple of times it was detoured off of Broad Street, but never detoured onto Market Street the way it is this year. <laughs> oh, it had to be detoured because of the construction that is going on for the Avenue of the Arts through uh, South Philadelphia and along Broad Street. And so now we have a, a whole new venue for this beautiful parade, this wonderful tradition of Philadelphia to be able to celebrate the new year. And the parade is actually um, uh, getting together and um, um, organizing by the river, and it will be coming up Market Street. And the parade route is uh, going to be very direct. It's just right up Market Street, and there are going to be four different places along the parade route where the brigades and the string bands and the fancy brigades are going to be doing their performances. This may be the most viewable parade from a from a, uh, a viewer's point of view. If you're coming down to look at the parade, it's a shorter route. They'll be performing more, and they'll be starting. The official starting point is Fifth and Market Streets, and we're going to head down there right now to Larry Cosgrove. Hey, Mike, how Good morning, you doing? Larry. Hey, Pat. Hey, we're looking very good down here. You remarked about the weather. It's turned out fine. The rain stopped, drizzle and fog pulled out. It should be mainly dry for the parade. Now, I do want to caution there may be a little touch of shower activity later on, but temperatures in the 40s, wind won't be a problem. Behind me, the Liberty Group is starting to form there, and they'll be marching up very shortly. Do want to tell you folks, you're coming down here, there's plenty of room. Again, maybe it's taking some time to get used to the Market Street venue right now, but again, a lot of space here, so you can come down and watch the parade. A very quiet start so far today, but we expect a lot of noise, a lot of activity later on. Pat and Mike? Well, you're looking at a live picture, uh, I presume, down Market Street from a camera that's placed up on the sixth floor of City Hall, uh, directly in front of where we are. And now you're pulling up Market Street. Uh, the parade route traditionally, when it came up from Broad and Snyder, ran a little better than two miles. It now will be less than a mile from Fifth and Market Street up here to City Hall. Uh, and so it makes viewing just perfect. Uh, we were talking about user-friendly. What a great way to get to the parade and to, to view the parade because of the public transportation down exactly. here. Exactly, and that's really a key, the public transportation. We want to advise you in the, in the whole process of um, if you're interested in coming down and watching this parade with us here, live on the street, we encourage you to take public transportation because it's going to be very clogged throughout this area. It's going to be very difficult to be able to get your car in and out of here. So that is our best advice today. And everybody's running on special schedules. Yep. And you could use, in fact, the Market Frankfurt line, the subway line, up or under Market Street for your whole route of the entire parade. You can start out of 5th Street and work your way up to City Hall with us. And of course you can you can use the, the, the train system and the PATCO system to get here to Market Street. So it's really perfect, uh, an easy way to get in and out. We'll be talking about what's available here on Market Street momentarily, other than the parade, which obviously will be coming up in a few moments. With us now are a couple of gentlemen we'd like to introduce to you. Uh, to Pat's immediate left, the guy in the cowboy hat <laughs> is, Tex Goldwyn, that's Ron Goldwyn from the Philadelphia Daily News, and next to him is Tom Baldrick. And uh, both of these guys have, have been following the parade very carefully. Ron, you were down uh, at the staging area. You've walked Market Street already. Give us an idea what it's like down there. Uh, just, ju judging from the picture we just saw, it's a lot busier than when I saw it uh, about an hour ago. The groups were just forming up. They knew about the delay. The first groups were rolling in. Uh, floats were still getting stapled. Uh, 
Uh, there was still actually a little construction going on right on the uh, right on the street. Uh, the spectators were starting to fill in, and I can tell you that the prime locations are bus stops. People were already staking out uh, the benches for the for the buses, but the crowd uh, the crowd will build later. Will build later. It certainly, Ron. There was an awful lot of controversy about shifting this parade from the traditional Broad Street route to here on Market Street. And you have had um, a long history of getting to know the mummers and and reporting on them over the years. What was their feeling this morning when you had an opportunity to talk to them about this shift in location? Uh, there's, uh, they're resigned to the idea that they know that, it's, that they, had, they had to go this way because of the construction. There's still a little reluctance to it. Uh, there's still a feeling that we're going to see how it goes. They're concerned it's short. They also are looking forward to the fact that they'll perform more and that there are more crowds. Uh, so, uh, uh, and now many of them are really looking forward to getting back to 2 Street later this afternoon and this evening for that traditional uh, informal neighborhood parade. I think interestingly, I've heard, uh, we've heard a lot of criticism of, of changing the route. But in recent days, I've actually heard some, some of the mummers say, well, let's give it a shot. Let's see how it works out. Maybe it will be better. It's not monolithic at all. There are several portions of the parade, several individuals who are uh, particularly like this, this route uh, and the chance to perform more. Uh, the crowds uh, have diminished along, along Broad Street in past years, and people know that the parade has needed some pepping up and some new ideas. They're not sure this is the right new idea, but there's a wide understanding that the parade needs to, needs to move into a new generation. Okay, before we... I'm sorry. I was just going to comment. Um, there are going to be four different places along the parade route where individuals are going to be able to actually see the full performance, and that's going to start at 5th Street. That's going to be the first one. Second location will be at 8th. The next location will be at 10th Street, and then the fourth location will be at 12th, and that will be the last performance, last preliminary performance before they, the, um, the brigades and, and all of the performers and mummers work their way around the uh, corner of City Hall to be able to perform in front of the judges, which is the most important thing for them today. One of the things that, uh, that, that most of the mummers are happy about is that there will be no gaps in this parade. They are expecting it to move at a fairly slow pace, and that may give them a chance to perform more than even those four times. Uh, on Broad Street, there was a long period in, uh, in upper South Philadelphia where there was almost a mile with relatively few people on the street. Uh, mummers had to move very quickly. They didn't perform. Uh, people have called it the death march section of the parade. Uh, this will be a very different flow today. Okay. One other thing, I, uh, this is not goofy hat day. <laughs> so, uh, Ron comes by that hat honestly. Uh, he's on sabbatical from the Daily News and has been in, living in Albuquerque, New Mexico with his family uh, for the last year and came back up for the parade. And despite the fact he's back here for the parade to do some writing for the Daily News, I suspect you're going through some withdrawal. This is the first year in many years that you haven't, in fact, marched with your group, the King Kazoos. That's right. Uh, my, my family and friends put together something called the King Kazoo New Year Association. We marched in nine parades up through yesterday, up through last year. And uh, my friends have been checking in for the last couple of days with, uh, like, hot glue withdrawal. They're all wondering why their fingers aren't getting burned and why uh, there's no glitter in the carpet. It's really a... a uh, there is a withdrawal. I felt like I've had an enormous <laughs> amount so of funny. time on my hands this week uh, because we weren't stapling at 12.01 uh, this morning. Well, Ron has been watching um, the, the preliminary works of the parade. Uh, The Sugar House Casino Mummers Parade. Coverage begins 8 a.m. New Year's Day on PHL 17.